city, the greatest town on earth. Here I am in New York City, the place of my rebirth. My name is Mark Blackman. My film is called Welcome to Harlem. What can I do? What can I say? I'm moving to Harlem. It is a musical comedy, loosely inspired by when I first moved to my neighborhood in Harlem a little over four years ago. A lot of crazy artist drama and music. 21 original songs, I think. I could be making that up. You know, it's, it's all about the adventure that the music sort of takes you on. You see, the thing you gotta know about Harlem is that everybody's got their own way of life. So if you find yourself with a problem, you got people all around to help you make it right. Take my man Rock, you're gonna like him a lot. Born and raised on the block, knows at bottom to top. So if you find yourself caught, then more often than not, he and his crew can help you out of any tight spot. This dude is so smooth, so hip and so cool. He'll be taking your girl before you can cry. Boo hoo! Hey, I'm not a player, this is a lady soon say I'll read your palm down, say the rest of you later. Making a musical is very challenging, to say the least. But I feel like, you know, it's not just rare in independent film, it's just rare in any film today. And, you know, it's, I really like musicals. I miss a good Lion King or Aladdin. It's like, what's going on today? Why isn't anybody making it? Is it really that difficult? And being a comedian, I also, you know, I, I do a lot of comedy, standing, talking, and to be able to express myself via fun rhyming lyrics, which is something that I love to do, is like, Great, well let me, you know, try this, write a bunch of song lyrics, see how it comes out. I thought it came out okay, knocked on Adam's door downstairs, who is a brilliant musician. He was like, sure, I, I'm not doing anything, I don't have a job, we're broke artists in Harlem, let me write some music. So it wasn't necessarily, oh, let's make this musical comedy, but it was, you know, why doesn't this exist? I'll bet I could write one, or at least do a decent job, and it sort of snowballed into us creating it. When you're an artist in Harlem When you're a student in Harlem When you're a public health care professional in Harlem Shit's fucked! It's tricky, you know, so you have to record all the music in advance so that, or at least a rough draft of it that is, you know, exactly timed how you're going to sing it so that you can play it back, having your actors already sung it so that they can sing along to the music that they've already recorded so you can make sure you line it up exactly right so it really looks like they're singing, you know, live in the shot. But in creating some of the scenes also, it's like, you know, all these songs sound different, so we also want them as much as possible to look different. So sometimes it's like, yeah, we're going to follow this person singing, and sometimes it might be, I don't know exactly how this should look. Let's just grab it in a bunch of different cool ways and sort of piece it together and try to find a rhythm with your cutting or your, you know, movement of a steady cam shot to make it interesting. You know, that's one advantage when you're dealing with this music that you already have and is, is great. I mean, you don't already have it, you gotta make it and record it. And, but once you have it, it's like that can be so compelling in and of itself, you can almost treat certain scenes like a music video where you don't need to follow the action completely every time. You can sort of jump around and get creative with how you are presenting this song it comes a romance if you want to have a chance you gotta dance then dance eventually give it time like the morning will shine and then baby you're mine but not until everything is chill and people are ready to see us going steady if that's what you want i don't know just a thought i don't know where i'll be so much what the film and the project is all about is community. I mean, it's about a dude who was looking for some sense of community in his life, he was struggling in New York City, moved to this neighborhood in Harlem, and that's what he found. He found friends, he found neighbors, he found something that, that he can be a part of. And then, you know, that's sort of the inspiration for writing the film and then creating it. You know, I had no idea how it was going to turn out, what it was going to be, what it meant to produce a film, let alone that the people who the movie was sort of about would be the people who are actually working together to then create it, these artists, this community. You know, you go, you know, I remember going to 
the New York mayor's office for, uh, to get permits for shooting. And we're like, yeah, we want to shoot right here on our block in our neighborhood. And they're like, why would you ever want to do that? That sounds crazy. Your own neighborhood, people are going to hate you, this, that, the other. We're like, well, no, no, wait a second. Like, our neighborhood is cool. We like our community. They like us. And this is, more importantly, where it takes place. We can't just pick a random block and shoot it. Like, why do that when we can do it for real? Shoot it where it's supposed to be happening. You know, I feel like bigger than movies, that's where our society needs to be pushing towards is more about community and about working together and about helping each other. And, you know, we started doing this project in the neighborhood and the community sort of rallied behind us so much to just help however they could and support us that, you know, it's just such a big part of what, who we are and what we want to do and what we wanted this project to be. And it means so much to so many people who are all part of this community that, you know, I don't want that to be lost on anyone. Life on the block. Life on the block. Love